Hello everybody, welcome back to another skin cast uh, of our CRUD tutorial series. In in this series, uh, I'm going to demonstrate you the uh, how we can uh, make an application and we're going to do a CRUD operation of MongoDB uh, using PHP 7. Uh, in the last two videos, I have shown you how we can configure MongoDB with PHP and MongoDB 3.2 with PHP 7. And the second video I have shown you how to how we can insert uh, informations in MongoDB using uh, a simple form and a PHP post request. So in this video, I'll go ahead and show you uh, how we can um, read the informations back to our applications from MongoDB to PHP. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So I'm going to start the application. And here is our application. We uh, left off in the next uh, in the previous video and uh, we can add a video and uh, the video get inserted in the mongodb database all right so uh, in this video we're gonna uh, learn how we can uh, populate all the informations in right up here so let's go ahead and do that uh, i need to start the mongodb database itself service mongodb start um, all right so in the index.php page what we have here is and here is the sidebar component here we will uh, populate all the uh, playlists uh, display the playlists right up here so let's just add a dummy data here uh, for now just for example each one and here it is so uh, let's figure this out how we can run this query to the mongodb uh, remember that we uh, have all our uh, database activities in this mongodb database class uh, with the aim that we can reuse this class later in our code that will make us a real smart programmer um, so we have uh, this insert new method to insert new data and now we're gonna add another method here that will um, fetch the data so let's do that public function fetch data or uh, whatever fetch uh, playlists playlist and it's gonna fetch the playlist and later on we're gonna add some arguments here uh, like um, if you want to keep those or uh, maybe you want to limit the play number of uh, items you want to display or any other settings uh, maybe we're gonna do that later on now just right up here let's run the query now uh, we're gonna uh, have more than one documents here so we're gonna use the um, mongodb find method now if you take a look at the mongodb find method documentation right up here you will find that here's the documentation of mongodb uh, uh, collection of finding a collection so as you see the definition that it has a query and a projection so the query is basically where we kind of like run the where operations i mean the where conditions and the projection is for like the uh, filtering stuff like uh, using uh, maybe skip limits this sort of stuff like that we're gonna simply uh, return this db and then let's say um, find and um, let's say first of all let's try with every possible data so we will make it simple we want everything all the information that we have here 
so I'm going to copy the method name and go back up here and let's say so let's run a loop here so let's say PHP for okay so for each D as D as DB as item. Um, so do we have this DB or simply DB? Um, sorry, DB. So DB and the fetch playlist, and we know the fetch playlist is from our method that we are writing uh, right up here. Uh, exactly this method right here so for each so what was our database structure uh, let me figure this out we have video title all right so say echo and then just simply print the video title item and then the video title all right and let's see if our application can and as you can see all the uh, videos that we have here earlier uh, all the data that we already have in our database is, is, is been populated here so exactly what we have wanted to do so now let's go ahead and add some CSS and uh, make it uh, look rich and I'm gonna add a list group here so let's say close the PHP here and I started back in here and let's say So this is going to be a list group and we're going to have an ally of um, list group item. If you're not sure what I'm doing, I'm just using default uh, Twitter bootstrap CSS. So uh, yeah, so now I'll just say I need to do one, I'm going to do PHP print, I mean echo, and then this item and video title and let's check this out in our application uh, and as you can see it's working just fine and I have a another echo going on I just deleted that and there you go it's working uh, but I, I did a mistake that I need to put this in above the PHP block all right and now let's try this out and as you can see it's now working as we have expected now add it to our anchor element uh, so we can click it make it a clickable and say a ref so this is gonna be uh, the same uh, location and so index PHP and say item is going to be uh, so what we have in our database we have the video ID uh, why it's now all right so somehow the video ID was not inserted here we need to check this out uh, why it was why it was happening but just let me continue all right so so let me just in uh, find this document using the uh, mongodb object id so uh, let's pass the php echo 
and I'm gonna echo this item and it's ID and inside here I'm gonna echo the video title so uh, let me go back to the application and run that and all right so as you can see in the left corner left bottom corner of Google Chrome browser I have the link which is linking to the exact uh, component so uh, so uh, that's pretty much it for this video I was uh, alright so let let us uh, fix the fix the problem that we are facing here uh, that we while well, we insert a video the video ID insert as a null um, so there was an issue in the previous videos uh, well while we inserted new data uh, the problem was that when we insert new data the video ID uh, was inserted as a null value and uh, the reason was a silly mistake uh, the mistake has been done is um, in the form name we have a uh, different name because the uh, D was not a capital letter and the while we prepared the data what we have did here we did we put here the capital D so uh, so the value was null so the solution and the fix is to change this according to the form uh, field name and do the same right up here and that would solve the issue and uh, we would have valid object here with the video id as well so i hope you kind of enjoy this video uh, and if it helps go ahead subscribe and like this video and also you can tweet me about how um, if you like this video or if you're not liking this video and what I could improve I know this is going to be a disaster kind of things but anyhow I hope it helps and again thanks for watching